Hi, it's Laura, welcome to my channel. Today is part two of my navy blue eyeliner tutorial. Um, today is going to be more of a daytime look, so you can see I've got absolutely no makeup on at all. I have done my brows. I'll show you what I've used to prep my skin first. I used the Alimis Pro Radiance Illuminating Flash Balm. Um, this is basically a anti-aging sort of brightening cream that you use to sort of tighten pores. Um, and it gives you a smooth even finish with so it helps with luminosity so I put that on first so I'm using the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base and it's a creamy liquid which I just smooth onto my lids and what this does is it preps your eyelids for eyeshadow application and because I've got sort of quite oily skin what this does is it helps with sort of keeping the eyeshadow in place because you know like sort of through the day it does well it does slide off my lids so this is this is quite good for that so that's done and sorry with these videos you do see quite a lot um, at the top of my head so I do apologize for that um right I'm used in now oh no I'm getting it all wrong do my face first eyes so I'm going to use my MAC Toledo eyeshadow palette which looks like this um, there's six colours in this, there's three neutral, three purple, and I'm going to use the first three. We're going to use them all over my lid. And I'll keep my cat meowing, so she's probably locked in a room somewhere. And my little boy's playing football downstairs, so if you do hear noises that are not mine and random, I do apologise, the washing machine is probably going to explode as well. So I'm going to pop just this all over my lip. So this one, if, you just, if you've seen my last video, this, the last video was quite an intense look. Because I mainly done a heavy look suitable for evenings. So this one is more for the day. So I'm going shopping with my daughter in a bit, so I hope I do it okay. Because otherwise I'm going to look like a right banana in Cardiff. So I'll just literally pop that all over my lid. I'm going to use one of my eyeshadow brushes now, it's a MAC brush, um, I think, yeah, it's 213. Some of my brushes, the numbers have come off because I've had them for quite a while, so if I don't know the number to the brush, I apologise. But I'll just show you it so you might recognise it. Okay, so just pop this over the lid. Put the dark colour now on the sort of corners in the middle of my lid. Just do that with my finger a sec. Um, there we go. There we are. Right, so now eyeliner time. So this is the one I showed you before that I used in my last video, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Eyeshadow Eyeliner. Um, when I'd done this, this is the smoky eye last time. It lasted all day, it was really good. And as I said before, I've used a black one of this. And, um, and as far as sort of wearability goes, and smudge proof, and for humid conditions, I think it's really, really good. So I'm going to line this along my um, lower lash line and sort of wing it up a bit. I find this quite tricky, so I'm not going to speak a minute while I do this, because otherwise I'll probably end up with it up there, or up here, two secs. So I think now this is on, doesn't make the makes the eyeshadow sort of pop a little bit, I think, because the colour is nice and bright. Okay, so I've done that bit, so I just need to wing it up a sec. So I'm gonna use my MAC tool two three. This is one where the numbers one off. So what I do is I sort of just give myself a guide so I know where I'm going. Now, the, the sad thing about being older is everything sort of slides down. So whereas about seven years ago, I would be able to do that and it would be fine, it gets a bit harder to do because your eye, eyelid's sort of coming down, so your line gets a bit trickier. But can't have it all, can we? So that one's done. Let's just do it, my line up. I'm 
can see I've messed it up because I've, no I haven't, it's okay actually. So I'm going to just draw where, you, where I've done my line, I'm just going to finish off into a triangle shape. So you get from the tip of the line and just fill it in and then thicken it up as you go towards the middle of your eye and then sort of colour it all in so that one's done okay and then I'm just going to pop a little bit on the waterline I'm just going to run a little bit on the outer corner of my lower eye line, eye line. just blend it out, just in the corner, just do the other one now, there we go, so I'm just going to smudge that in a sec, I'm going to use the out to the end of the, the brush, um, the pencil. I like this as a really, really, normally when you get eye liner pencils, the, the smudger isn't very good, but this one is excellent actually. I'm just gonna smudge this now. Okay. Now I'm gonna use my mascara. Today I'm using the Clarins Zero One Intense Black, which looks like that. I'm gonna the brush is like this, very small brush for mascara this one. But it's good because it does it does help coat the lashes really well. It's quite good, it looks quite nice, the black and the blue I think. I just hate it when mascaras that you really like run out and then they get all cloggy. I can see how blotchy my skin looks today. So this is another thing that I'm not going to moan about getting older, it doesn't matter, but thank goodness for foundation, eh? I'm just going to do my second coat with that one. There we are, done. Okay. So I'm using today my me me my Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation, and this one is in the colour Cashew Beige, and that looks like this. Now this is one of my favourite foundations. Um, it's silk, give it a good shake. So I'm going to pop a little bit of that on my hand. You don't need a lot of this because, like I said, the coverage is really good. So put some on the palm of my hand. I'm going to use my MAC foundation brush in 190 and just pop some of that on my face. Now this smells a bit, a bit old fashioned. Now, I don't know what old fashioned smells like. So I'm just going to pop that over my face. Blending it right in down. I like using my foundation brush. Although I've been toying with the idea of getting a beauty blender, a lot of people really like them for foundation application and I like the look of them as well. I keep thinking I'll get one, I'll get one, and then I don't. And I don't know, it's like quite a lot of money for what it is, but it is meant to be good. If you think they're good and you think that, give me some, if you want to pop in the comments below, just say, you know, that some of the benefits of it if you think it's good. So I'm just going to pop that down onto my neck. I've got a bit of acne, acne on my neck. You saw how sort of blotchy my skin was and I'm not saying it's not now, but it looks, looks a hell of a lot better than it did. Right, that's then. So I'm just going to wipe the remainder off my palm. And that's done. And then I'm going to use my Chantecaille, I said it right, um, pressed powder, and this is in the colour 
subtle. Now this is one of Caroline Hyrin's favourites and um, I'm a little bit um, obsessed with everything she loves. Obviously not everything she uses suits me but you know her recommendations are generally fab. She is fab. So I'm just going to pop some of this powder onto my face. I'm just going to basically set under my eyes, on my nose and a little bit on my head. That one, that's done. What have I got left to do? Oh, I'm going to use a bit of blush. Today I've got the Dior uh, Rosy Glow. Now, look at this. How scary does that look in the pan? But it's not as scary as it looks because you put some of this on your face. Now, I'll show you, show you now. So I'll pop some of this on my face with my MAC brush. And you pop it on, but with this, it, you have to just put one application on and see how it looks on your face because it adapts to your skin tone and type so it just basically gives you a glow that suits your face so you have to put it on and then wait a little while till you can see what the colours come out like and then if you need to apply some more you can but if you don't, don't don't think, oh no, that's not pink enough or it's not bright enough because after about two minutes the colour comes out so do it, leave it, and then pop some more on if you need to. So I'm going to leave it a second to my lips first. So I'm going to use, I've got a Rimmel Moisture Renew, and it's the Universal Transparent Lip Liner, which looks like this. I've lost the lid, and it's basically a transparent lip liner, which, in my opinion, what a good idea. And... And that's on uh, my NARS lip lacquer and this one is in the colour baby doll um, with my NARS lip brush which is one of my favourites so this is a sort of pinky pinky bluey soft colour I'm going to pop some of that on my lips a sec so it's, it's not too bright I think it's just a very pretty, sort of soft pink natural colour, just gives you a sort of good extension of your natural lip colour, but with a little bit of glow. Normally I'm not a fan of, I love lip glosses, but I don't like the sticky ones. And, you know, some you sort of feel really, really tacky on your mouth, but the, the NARS lip lacquers don't, which is very good. So I think I'm just going to pop a little bit more of the blush on. Just dust a bit off. Just pop a little bit more. So I just blew a little bit off the end of my my brush. Okay. So I think I'm done. I'm not I'm entirely happy with my eyeliner. I don't think I've done it as well as I could have. But I think considering I sort of rushed it, I don't think it's too bad. What do you think? Do you like it? A bit different, I suppose. I'm quite happy with how my cheeks and the lips look. It's not too bad. Maybe a little bit more intense for day, but oh well. So if you like this look, I'd love you to give me a massive thumbs up. If you like my channel, I'd love you to subscribe. That would be lovely. Um, thank you to all the viewers, like the viewers I had over the last couple of days. That's really made my day. Um, also to the new subscribers I've had. That's fab. Um, I do appreciate your support, and I think it's great. See you soon.